welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, I will be installing Detroit Speed Mini Tabs. You may be wondering why am I cutting the floor after I cleaned it and covered it with bed liner. Well, the uh, Detroit Speed Mini Tubs were not part of the plan. As you move forward on the project, you come up with new ideas and everything changes. So in this case, I'm doing Detroit Speed Mini Tubs. That yellow mark indicates how much I need to cut in order to make the tub fit. However, I'm not going to cut all of it at once. I'm going to cut slowly until I make sure everything is perfectly. I do not want to cut more than necessary. trunk area I have to cut two and three quarters of the floor in order to make clearance for the tub to fit perfectly. Now I have to cut the frame and cover it with new sheet metal to make it strong again. After aligning the plate and securing it, the next step is to weld it. I received a lot of questions people asking me, how would the bed liner react with the engine heat? Well, here's a good example. After I welded the plate, the heat from the welder is 10 times more than what an engine produces. And as you can see here, the bed liner did not chip off or burn or anything. It's still holding on strong.
There was a small section that I forgot to cut and therefore the tub was not fitting correctly. So here I am cutting and installing a new plate to smooth it out and also weld the tub onto this one plate. It feels like I had to put this tub 20 million times, on and off, on and off, on and off, until finally got it to fit. But of course, I didn't record all that. And here we have the two plates welded onto the frame. Uh, the first one is already grinded. The second one here, it's on but I have to smooth out the welds. They look pretty rough. Here we are, the wells are already grinded, smoothed out enough to uh, give it a layer of primer so they won't rust, and then cover it with bed liner. But that will be at the end, not now.
the difference between the original tub and the Detroit Speed tub is day and night. With the new tub, I get 15 and a half inches clearance, enough to put a 12 inch wide or even bigger wheel. To finish it off, I need to mount the uh, bracket back to support the trunk. And then this job is finished. Once the spot wells are done on the perimeter here, I will do seam sealer where the two panels meet, prevent water from going inside. And then after that, job is done. <laughs>